You're very welcome back to the Daily Rundown. Now, the Amy Winehouse Foundation is to open a home for women recovering for, from drug and alcohol addiction. The Lay Singers family set up the foundation in 2011, three months after her death. Amy's Place aims to help residents reintegrate into society as well as supporting disadvantaged young artists. The house will accommodate 16 women between the ages of 18 and 30 and provides therapy for the residents. The three-month programme uses yoga and relapse prevention techniques to help the women rebuild their lives. How do you feel about this? Is, um, is, this, is, this, a, is this a nice legacy to have or would you feel like Amy Winehouse's people and family would rather be distanced from you is know, this drug not and alcohol addiction? Is this their dad? Is their dad not part of this foundation? Um, I don't. I, I think it was him who set it up I think in the first it, place. It was him who set it up, wasn't it? I think it was him who set it up in the first place. There's no mention of him. No, right. but I don't know if that's. Oh, I'm sure you'd have his name in there somewhere. If there's anything to do. Yeah, with. that would be good. That's what you would imagine. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, as I think there should be places like that specifically to help women. Yeah. Um, rather than, I'm not being sexist or anything. <laughs> I know there's a lot of men with the same problems. Yeah. I think women find it harder to find somewhere to go and to get help. That's what I think. Do you think especially that's a, when they've got children? Yeah. Do you think that's a kind of a, that that's a problematic age group as well, eighteen to yeah. thirty? Yeah. 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 For them to sort of start sorting them out. What do you think, Stephen? Do you think um, would you would you imagine? I don't know if it was anyone you were involved or like related to or anything. Mm. You'd rather see them distanced from no. the whole subject of you know drugs and alcohol, just given how she did die. Um, no. Um, I think that I would have done it a little bit sooner than five years after she died. Right. Why would um, you? Why? Well, I would suggest that maybe my first primary concern would not be to see how much money I could make off the tragic death of my own family member. Um, I think the. <gasps> I think the. I think. Well, no, I'm not suggesting I'm anybody it, did. I'm assuming I'm not, you've you've seen the film. Is it? I haven't. I haven't. And I'm dying to see it. Yeah, I've, I've only heard, heard sort of criticism. But, um, he hated it. He hated it. I yeah. think, well, I, 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 I'm not, I, no, I think that generally um, I not, that comment was not directed, well, it kind of was directed, but it's not directed personally at, at, at any particular person. I just think that um, while she was, while Amy Winehouse was uh, on this beautiful planet that we share, there were many times and points at where I think people could yeah. have stepped in. Yeah. Um, I mean, Go even going back to I remember seeing Amy Winehouse on Nevermind the Buzzcocks before I think we got to the point of her making videos with Tiny Mice and 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 some of the more kind of serious and and clear indications. Um, I think that people I would have liked to think that people would step in. You know, um, I would like to think uh, I've no way been in any way uh, as you know sort of gone down the same pathway as Amy Winehouse, but. While I was at university, I, I did experiment with, with those kinds of things and I got myself out of it. And I got myself out of it because there was a support network, network around me. I wonder whether that was there. This is brilliant. I wouldn't want m myself to be distanced from this. I would want to, to know this because it's part of what I think made Amy Winehouse the brilliant um, sort of short lasting firework that she was. The history is full of, 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 of women uh, who have, have, have gone through this. Billie Holiday, uh, you Joplin. know, yeah, yeah, Janis Joplin, a lot of these, a lot of uh, Tina Whitney Turney, Houston. Whitney yeah. Houston. I mean, I agree with, with your point, Jackie, that, that maybe uh, I have no issue at all with this being a female or a woman only thing. I do think that there are certain, um, certain areas that it is good i'm a great believer in equality and all this stuff, but there are there are areas where and i do understand that i've i've not i've not gone through uh, these issues or you know even a potential issue of i'm not i'm not don't know enough about amy winehouse to know whether this but for me areas such as sort of uh violence in the in the homestead i'm not and again i'm not in any way suggesting yeah. that happens but i think that that is another area where i think that there are great arguments for there being single sex and I think that it's great and I wouldn't if I was related to Amy Winehouse I wouldn't want to distance myself from this because you this is what made yeah, 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 it's yeah, what yeah, made it's important. Important. Yeah. well yeah. I mean the thing is it's interesting that you bring up I mean like she's such she was such a fantastic talented woman yeah um, and she was so young it was, mm. and it was so tragic what happened yeah. but it's interesting I know a lot of people at this stage I think you know they've seen we have seen various documentaries various mm. reports that feel that there she was surrounded by yes men and you know hangers on and various different partners who mm might have taken advantage of her status mm -hmm. um, 
and just that general party and kind of uh, situation that they're in. But on the other hand, it is very difficult when you are dealing with somebody who's addicted to, you know, steer them in away from the life oh, yeah. that they are, the path that they are. And they're still going an down. adult, aren't they? And of course, at the end You've of the day, no you're control. An adult. And I think the first thing that they'll say to you if you are dealing with an adult, an adult is they're the one who have to yeah. take the step. You're not allowed to force them into it. So no. I don't know. From that point of view, um, yeah, it it's, would be it's very difficult, difficult isn't it? for somebody to step in. It would be, but I think that with with addiction um, is. Is a it's an illness, uh, and I think that uh, I, well, I I suffer with with my mental health, and I've I've attended the the priory in 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 Hale Barnes, and and I've gone through that, and people in there, you know, there are people, no, sorry, people who attend there, who attend area, you know, and, and places like this, there are addiction counsellors who you do again, you need to make that first step. But as I say, I'm interested to see that it, within there, there are relapse, relapse prevention techniques and going through yeah. sort of CBT and going through these kind of things. That, One that of the was things a bit of a learn, theme, wasn't it, for, yeah. for God love her. I mean, like, she would seem to get herself back. She would go she would go back into the same thing. And the people she was hanging around with. I mean, yeah, there, there is an them. argument that, um, you know, in the creative arts, there is this, there, there, there may be this theory that there is a certain line that you that you ride and that that's your creative line you're skirting the boundaries I think, yeah constantly. yeah whether it be whether it be depression i mean sorry not, not everybody of course like, no 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 yeah there's a certain type i suppose that is that is in that sort of industry i would imagine it would be a type of personality it would be a type of yeah. personality yeah. Yeah. and it's kind of it's, it's hard i guess it's, it's i think i guess it's a very sort of it's a bit contradictory almost sometimes you have somebody mm. who's you know quite sensitive but obviously they're expected to be a performer and yeah. um, what what seems to have uh, come out since she since Amy Wine has died is that she was actually all she wanted to do was sing really she didn't really want that sort of persona and that mm. stardom and um, do you know what was interesting though I actually remember Slash from Guns mm. N' Roses somebody asked him after she had died what did he think because you know she was she was very well regarded by so mm. many different you know musicians yeah. from different genres and he said how do, you, how do you feel you know obviously you've had a very rock and roll lifestyle we've all heard their kind of you know stories mm. of decadence and he said you know I just feel like everything is very much under the microscope now um, we're we're studying these we're studying these artists and we're like why don't we just let them sort of live their lives? Yeah. This to be fair, this she might not have actually died at this stage. She might have been in a relapse right. situation. It just seems yeah. a bit cold. But it's interesting just to see that kind of flip. Well, I mean, I'm a big fan of Led Zeppelin, and from what I know of what Led Zeppelin got up to, then if 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 the Our same studio. thing, that, yeah, and well. You know, one of the most respected bands, uh, I think, or certainly not a band that you would think of as a rock and roll lifestyle, was Queen. You know, and there are there are tales of what used to happen at Queen's parties with, you know, with all kinds of things, and that's just that's just that just happened. You know, that that you know, you, you wouldn't really say, oh, Brian May, oh, he's a rocker, he is, oh my lord, you know. And I think that a lot of the times we are now, we have got, you, we've got bands now touring after i mean i went to see uh, acdc recently oh, and yeah. there was only mm. one member of acdc there axel rose was singing so essentially it was a cover band um <laughs> but angus scott was the only one who was there i realized he was the only one there yeah. he's the yeah. only one i mean like one of the guys can't travel due oh, to legal yes, problems yeah, yeah, and yeah. brian johnson yeah. had been told that um if he he's sung live he might go deaf oh god so he and even he's not an original member of acdc but you know, like they travel the world, Fleetwood Mac, you know, all these great rock and roll bands that are still, they, these people are still al Rolling alive. Stones? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Rolling, Rolling Stones. Well, yeah, Rolling Stones. Keith I mean, Richards. I think that's part, that's a bit like, someone needs to study them. Well, Keith Science Richards goes to, to he goes to Switzerland, well, he, he go, the, goes to Switzerland to have his blood changed every year, and the man just looks like he needs an iron. He looks like he <laughs> lay him down, give him a good tea fire. I saw Mick Jagger's workout recently. And really? I mean, is he 70, over 70? Yeah. Well, yeah. and a new dad. Yeah. And he's just had a, has he just had a child or he's pregnant? Yeah. No, no, yeah, his partner, he's 20, no, he's 39. Has she just 29. had one? Or? Yeah, yeah, she yeah. just had a baby. Yeah. So that's anyway, two lots of there, so there's the around. So it, it, no, it's very sad. It's a very kind yeah. of, it's a very complex kind of business, yeah. isn't it? Like you know, obviously it seems to work for someone. I think it's, it's, it does seem to kind of eat up and spit out um, the oh, more yeah. sensitive souls, doesn't yeah. it? Though? But I think with this one, I mean, Amy Winehouse, uh, she just, she couldn't, have, she proved herself over and over again. She's a fantastic mm. singer um, just, and a fantastic songwriter. Yeah. yeah. Um, so in this situation, I think it is lovely that I, I mean, I think so that she is. That she that's is it, leaving this legacy, legacy behind. Yeah. Um, it's it's a nice thing for it to be associated with. I don't know if do you think there might be negative connotations down the line, or hopefully not. Well, I, ca I can't see. I can't see what the. I mean, 
we've we've got so far now that I think we've gone past the initial kind of oh she should have still been around, and we're now into this maybe into that stage where this this sometimes tragic sometimes beautiful life can help others and I think if yeah. it is helping others yeah. you have to be a fairly mean spirited person yeah. to, sure. to have a go at this sure so um, from that point of view um, it can only it can only be a good thing really yeah, I think it's a good thing I'm trying to think if there's any previous Betty sort Ford Right. I think maybe Betty Ford, I think was Betty Ford the for Betty Ford Alpha. in America. Oh, she's, yeah. she's for the boozing, isn't she? Yeah, she's Betty the, Ford. She used yes. to like the falling down water. Did Liz Taylor meet one of her uh, husbands in there? Yeah, well, I don't That's know. That's true. He might have been Larry, the younger yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Is yeah, it Larry Fisher? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Fortensky. Oh, yeah. Why do uh, I remember? I, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, that's I random. feel like I remember that from the front of a Hello magazine or something yeah. like that yeah. type of a thing. But Betty, Betty Ford was it? Was she? Betty Ford. She, well, she yeah, she was. Yeah, uh, she, yeah was she, she, she had. She yeah. liked the sauce. Um, I, I don't know. Since then, I mean, the only the other opposite the opposite flip side of this is um, they once uh, played the drugs don't work to Jack Nicholson, and he just said he's obviously not connected to the right person right but, uh, so, um, but, I bet, but again Jack Nicholson is, is, is a hellraiser but he's you know I, I wonder does he just have the hellraiser personality to have to live up to I reckon well, he's suggesting he's another he's been on, giving it hasn't he he's like been, Oliver Reed exactly. well Oliver Reed Oliver Reed is it. gone though isn't he yeah, yeah Oliver yeah. Reed Hugh, Hugh Hefner is not, you know with the women not with it you know yeah. I reckon he's you know been going to bed and just gone for sleep for the last 25-30 years Hugh. oh goodness yes oh, I don't Jack know I've read Holly Madison's book ooh interesting we'll have a chat about that on the break <laughs> Jackie uh, thanks very much for that guys we're going to go into another break we'll be back in just a few minutes don't go anywhere